Just got the, the fox lines. float, uh, the float tooth. So I got a bushing here. I'm gonna go get some spacers for it and some washers for the skis also, some spacers for that and a bolt for four bolts. And I'm gonna use this bushing as my thing. So I'm gonna get going on that. You want that? So the Fox Hawks are 18.5 and the Skidoo HPG high pressure gas shocks that I was running with the piggybacks on them, freshly rebuilt by the way. Those are 18, but I don't think the 0.5, what's that half an inch or whatever it transfers to, but I do not think that will hurt me, honestly, in the long run. Um, I know some guys say you can't do it because you'll put too much stress on the A arm. The, on the ball bearing on the A arm because it's pushed down too much and the shock bottoms itself out. Yeah, I don't believe that because when I test fitted it, it was like the a, the ball joint was still fairly even. Everyone's comment. But yeah, now oh, I also put the A arms on the upper and bottoms on both sides, and I'm an idiot, so I put these brass bushings in, and then I put the actual like bushing or whatever you call them. I put these brass, uh, yeah, bushings in. And the bushing through it, and I didn't grease it. So now I think I have to pull it all apart and grease it. Because if you don't, they get hot and they'll break. So they're going up and down, up and down, up and down, and it creates too much friction. But for one ride, because I think I'll only get one more ride this season, I'm just gonna run it. I don't really care. But we got the CNA Pros. Uh, they're not the BX Editions, they're the step up from that, which is not as good because they're heavier, but you know, I got them for 200 bucks and only had to buy carbides, which I got for 75 bucks. So I got the carbides on a steel. Not really, but I mean, if you go to their website, they're 100 bucks for the carbides. So I got the carbides on a good deal. The Fox Floater is 200 bucks. The Ski is 200 bucks. Bushing 15 bucks. I've done this whole front end for almost 15 bucks and whatever I'm spending on nuts and bolts because I've sold my skis for 200 bucks and my shocks for 170. So I lost 30 bucks on the on the shocks, but those shocks are way better than what I have. They're the floats, um, float twos. So they're not the, I think then the other ones came out after that with the red dial. This has this little nipple on it, where that red dial usually is, but I like them. You know, I didn't pay 600 bucks for them or nothing, so it's a good deal. I paid 200 bucks for them. But. Yeah. That was a $10 nuts and bolts trip, but I got some other nuts and bolts I needed. Pizza time. needs its uh its ski and the ski bushing I need to cut still but I'll get that out 
Okay. The red now has box float twos, uh, CNA Pro skis, no sway bar, which is surprisingly heavy. I didn't think the sway bar was so heavy. Steering rods aren't in it. I'll be picking those up this week from a guy on Facebook. But I do want to see how good she'll tilt. So, as you can see, no steering rod, so not yet at least, but still like a bow. But my buddy Trafton's got a sled, and I cannot do that on it. I can't even lift it up at all, I'm just a little guy. But, oh. Um. Uh oh. There. Uh, ski stance. That's for you. From outer to outer, roughly, is gonna be. Uh, top of ski, little. Ah, uh, I mean top of ski. Jeez, a freaking pro. That can't be right. Straighten that out. Straighten that out more. That's not straightened out. Okay. Oh, uh, 48. Holy shit, that is not good. I don't think that's better than stock. I put what stock is up in the thing. Jeez, um, that is a massive fucking stance. Um, one more thing, I wanna just make sure the arms are set. Roughly 28. I'm just getting it rough. Roughly 28, all right, yeah, that's close enough. I'll do a ski alignment soon, when I get my tie rods in, obviously. And during the ski rod video, I'll show you how to adjust these. But honestly, I got no clue. Oh, that's doing something. I think these are the stiffest they are set to right now. But, yeah, I think, uh, I think it looks good. I mean, it definitely, you definitely feel the independence on the skis. Oh, well, I just see it bolted down. But, like, how the suspension's independent. It's definitely lighter, because I was on my buddy Trafton's sled, and I could not move around. Like, I was just moving this one around. Um, hopefully I'll get one more video with it. Real quick, I'll just show you how I spaced those. I spaced in here. I spaced in there. Now this is an 18.5 shock. Mine are 18s. But seems to be doing all right. Looks mean. I like the look of it. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see this thing working. <laughs> Running, I mean. And we'll take it from there. Thank you.